What's up, guys? Jordan Janowitz here at Coops Ironworks in Saginaw, Michigan. Um, we are currently two and a half weeks out from the North Americans, uh, 10 days out from my qualifier, the Steve Kuklo Show here in Michigan. And then uh, we leave in 15 days, uh, weigh in at the North Americans. <clears throat> um, Coops Ironworks, I'd just like to say thank you guys, uh, Rob, for letting us film here uh, with Jeff Saigo. I uh, walked in here at 11 a.m. and there was quite a few people, but what I loved was the music was very loud. Like the energy and the atmosphere was great. Like I didn't even feel like I was in a Michigan gym. Felt like I was in Florida or California. So it was a really, really good boost of energy. Um, and I'm, I'm pumped to finish these last two weeks here. Um, I'm feeling really good. We did an arm workout video. Uh, my coach Andrew Vu gave me a high carb day yesterday. So my brain is. It's feeling great right now. <laughs> like I said, I'm ready to kill these uh, last couple weeks. Um, we're getting tighter, we're getting drier, we're getting harder. Um, I'm gonna look my best. I'm definitely gonna look my best on stage. I'm very excited for that. Um, yeah, 15, 15 days out, 16 days out, um, I'm 222 right now. Waking up at just a little over 220, so. Um, 2017, I competed as a heavyweight in nationals. At this point, I was probably about 213. So, I mean, you can say I, I probably put on a good five pounds of muscle, you know, since then. And the thing is, in 2018, I ended up dropping to a light heavy. I did the whole police uh, corrections academy, and it was really hard to, to eat, you know, doing physical, doing PT and all that, push-ups and sit-ups and running. So I sunk down to light heavy. So and I took 2019 off completely. Me and my wife had a baby. Um, she's due with another one here in like another three, four weeks, three weeks. So the timings, uh, right there with, right after the show, the baby will be, b be born. So, um, now back, we're back to heavyweight. So just sitting at 221. So, uh, uh, yep. We did a arm workout. I supersetted, uh, tr triceps and biceps. Um, I always start with, uh, rope. Uh, push push downs. Um, that's something Jay Cutler also always starts with. Um, I don't stand up straight. I kind of lean in a little bit. Um, gives me a good contraction on the triceps, and I think that's the best exercise to get the. Uh, what am I thinking about? Uh, the cross striations in your tricep. Get a good squeeze on those. Um, I've been watching a lot of Jay Cutler videos. Uh, his Jay Cutler channel, Jay Cutler TV on YouTube. It's been helping me a lot this prep uh, mentally. Um, I superseted that with uh, cable easy bar curls. Um, everything was three sets. Um, it was kind of a quick workout. It's probably about, probably just in about an hour. I probably did it. Um, uh, joints are feeling great. Um, we went on over to the close grip bench press with. Uh, Standing easy bar curls, uh, four sets for each there. I actually ended up going up to 315 on close grip bench um, for 11 reps. So joints felt great. I said 275 was super light. I said, why not go to 315, you know? You wanna be big, lift big weights. Wanna be little, lift little weights. <laughs> um, and then uh, super set of that with uh, the standing easy bar curls. And then after that, went on over to the uh, one-arm dumbbell tricep extension, overhead tricep extension. Um, that's what I finished triceps with. Um, and dumbbell seated uh, alternating curls. We did three sets each on that. And finished uh, with ab workout rope crunches. I do abs every day now. Um, since about four weeks out, I've been doing abs every day at the end of my workout. So trying to keep the, the waist tight and uh, just getting lean and getting mean. <laughs> cardio, um, I'd say this is probably my toughest prep for cardio. Uh, we're doing the Stairmaster, 60 minutes, level seven, um, 60 minutes post-workout. Um, it's getting, I'd say, a little bit easier because I'm in good condition now. But in the beginning, it was it was rough. Um, I'm still, I'm still sweating. I'm not sweating in my workout so much because I'm I'm pretty dry. But during the cardio, I'm I'm sweating as you should be sweating. Um, but at the beginning of prep, I think we started the stairmaster about eight weeks out. Um, now there's a puddle of sweat underneath me. It was it was ridiculous. And I, just, I like 
there's I couldn't do level seven was it felt like a sprint like I started out in level four level five and I had to work my way up but now that I'm in I'm in pretty decent condition now um you know I'm doing level seven I'm touching level eight so um it's it's mentally easier so yeah how um and from the past videos we've done people go back and look not that you ever had teeny arms by means but your arms have definitely come up but what do you contribute to increasing your arm size and improving your arm size? yeah I definitely feel like my arms have come up um I feel like arms and chest have kind of been a weak point um for the arms, honestly, I like during the off season, I really didn't go that heavy on arms. I always kind of just went in real quick. Got I wouldn't say got a pump, but I mean I went I went hard I went hard on them. Um, but I didn't go real heavy. I did more concentration stuff, focused more on getting blood into the muscle. It's a small small muscle group, so you don't really need to go that heavy. Um, obviously, <laughs> I did do 315 close grip bench. That's pretty heavy for two weeks out. Um, but my joints felt good, so I said, why not? Okay, good deal. Um, for this prep itself, but what would you say the most difficult thing um, about this prep has been like with COVID and all the other obstacles? Yeah, with the whole COVID, uh, props to anybody that is doing a show this year and sticking to it. I'm sure there's a lot of people that decided not to do a show because how many shows have been canceled, but if you're if you've competed this year um, or you're going to compete and with all this COVID going on, props to you. You know you got you're a winner right there. Um, mentally, I just try to pretend that it doesn't exist. <laughs> it, you know I'm locked in, focused on my show. That's my show and my family. That's that's the only thing that 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 matters to me right now. <laughs> you know I'm trying my best to to finally finally get first i've been close so many times second third fourth i've been right there so um regardless i i believe andrew will bring me in looking my best so that that's what matters is improving and looking your best and hopefully that's enough for you know a class win yes absolutely would like to thank you jeff for the for filming the arm workout uh rob here at Coops Ironworks, the owner. If you have not been to Coops in Saginaw, this is an awesome gym. Good atmosphere, good energy, loud music. It's a bodybuilding gym. Um, my wife, my beautiful wife, my family. Um, no, I wouldn't be able to do this prep without her, especially having a little baby. She she stays at home with a little baby while I get my workout in. So um, a couple more weeks left, and I'm excited for more family time, that's for sure. Less days in the gym. You know, I'm working out six days a week right now. Hour of cardio, I drive 25 minutes to the gym, 25 minutes back. You know, I'm I'm gone like almost four hours at the gym. You know, posing, cardio, working out, dri driving, full-time corrections officer. You know, I got Friday, Saturday off, which is awesome. Those are two good days to have off of work, um, especially in the off-season. We can go out and do stuff Friday and Saturday night. Um, but come off-season, you know, more rest. I'm, I'll hit the gym, you know, four days a week. Cardio, will, I'll probably do fasted cardio in the morning with my wife and the baby, go on a walk, um, try to keep my appetite a little high, not to explode on eating a bunch of food. So um, looking, looking forward to this show and looking forward to a long off season with my family and the new little baby coming. Oh, and, uh, and Jake, my, my buddy Jake, he's doing the North Americans as well. We just did the uh, back workout, four week out video. Um, and just since then, it's been two weeks, I have I feel like I've changed quite a bit. I'm a lot drier and a lot harder just since since then, so. Yeah. Well, good luck, man. Uh, I think it's definitely the biggest and the best you've ever looked. Um, put all the work in it, I hope it goes well for you, bud. Thanks, man, we'll see you soon.